Hi there, Sunday here with the Paper Possum and another Friday Focus video. Uh, we're continuing our series on the Tupperware Stack Cooker and unfortunately it's no longer on sale so if you missed out on that, um, just keep your eyes peeled. Of course, booking a party and hosting a party is a great way to get a good deal on it. But last week I made popcorn in my stack cooker, which makes me happy, but um, not everybody could live on popcorn. Um, so I guess I figured I should show you how to put dinner on the table in 10 minutes, um, 10 minutes or less. I'm going to say it'll probably take 10 minutes cook time, 5 minutes to put it all in a make it look pretty, put it in a bowl. So 15 minutes tops, we're going to have a meal. Um, Friday is meatless days here at the Paper Possum household. So I'm going to show you how Epicure and Tupperware, and in particular my stack cooker, is going to help me make dinner for my family. Super, super fast and easy. First thing we want to do is get our water going, because we're having pasta. So I'm going to fill it. Uh, I don't need you to see me do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut open my pasta. This is just the fresh pasta that I got at the grocery store. They were on sale for $6, which I love that because I love fresh pasta and normally it's too expensive and I'm a 99 cent kind of girl, but six bucks, I'm for spinach and cheese pasta. Sounds good to me. <sighs> So I filled it, you can see I filled my stack cooker about halfway with water and I am going to lightly salt it. Get my little salt guy out. Not with a lot, this is sea salt. Um, once you start using sea salt, if you, I challenge you to go back and try table salt again and um, the difference is distinctive. So the first thing, I just want to go ahead and get that boiling. So I'm going to put it in my microwave. Um, my last video I said I had a 1200 watt microwave. I checked this little um, label that's on my microwave and I was wrong. <laughs> I have a 1000 watt microwave. So um, yeah, but all microwaves are different so make sure you check your label and adjust your cooking times. But I know it's going to take maybe three minutes to make that water come to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in on high. While that's going, I'm going to turn on my pan and get it nice and hot. This is my Epicure pan. It's got that Eclipse coating, so it's nice and non-stick. I don't need to add any oil. Now I, if you can see, wrong arm, I had surgery on my arm. I basically, I have a metal plate in here and six screws and you can see all my little scars and I've broken it and I've got, I had pins and screws. So I'm really not a good one to open a lot of jars and cans. So that's one of the reasons why I just love my, um, if I can figure it out, for all of a sudden I have forgotten how to use my Tupperware can opener. You just put it on, oh, that's why, hello Sunday, um, so there we go. So you put your can opener, it opens like this, on, squeeze it shut, it's locked in place. You give it a turn. So again, nice and easy, even if you have difficulties with your arms. I got this can of tomatoes at my grocery store on sale, 97 cents. So basically, all said and done, I'm going to have dinner for four uh, for less than, I'd say, definitely less than six bucks. So you put this on here. It's got this little groove there. Oh, and again, you open it. You put that right in there. It grabs the edge and then it pulls that can right up. Go ahead and put that in here. Rinse that. Put it in my sink. So I can rinse it later. Now I don't have to worry about this spatula melting because it's made for temperatures. So I'm going to just, these are just crushed tomatoes, they're not seasoned, so that means I'm going to have to put all the flavor in myself, but I don't know why people buy jar spaghetti sauce, because it's so easy to put together, and healthier, and less salt, all the salt you put in, you put in, and done, in no time. So, into my sauce, into my crushed tomatoes, I always add the Epicure's marinara sauce.
to that size, I do about a tablespoon, and I just do a rough measure. It's the palm of your hand like that, and it goes. Some toasted onion. I love these guys. And again, a little bit less than a tablespoon, so not as much. We're going to do garlic. What is pasta sauce without garlic? So this is the salt-free um, sansal. It's got roasted red pepper and the garlic mixed in. And again, about a teaspoon. Easily that much. So I'm going to give that a good stir. It mixed in. I'm going to turn this down to medium so we don't get a lot of splatters. Mix it in. Actually put it on low. So while that's getting warmed and cooked, so my water's boiled. Now the cooker is hot, but the handles are cool. I'm going to open it away from my face because I don't want that steam to hit me. I'm just going to slide in my pasta. stuck together. Now I'm going to put this back in the microwave on high power again. We are going to do six minutes. Start. So this is warming. To this I always add a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Something about that sweet really brings out the tomato flavor. And then I'm going to share with you my secret ingredient to yummy pasta, and that is Worcestershire sauce. And I don't know why, um, Worcestershire sauce, I have no idea what's in it, but I only buy Lee and Perrin's because no name will not cut it. You need the best, and it's about, I'd say, maybe two teaspoons, teaspoon and a half. I'll just pour that in. Uh, it must be, I think there's anchovies in there to be honest, and it just gives it a nice flavor. Stir it up. And then I roasted herb and it's herb, garlic, and sea salt. So I'm controlling the salt here. I had no salt in the tomatoes. No salt in the other things. I just lightly salted the water. It seems like I'm turning that a lot, but I'm really not. I just like it finely ground up, but it's got that garlic flavor already in there. I'd say that's probably maybe a teaspoon of salt, garlic flavored salt. And then that yummy, oh, this has changed my, I used to not like pepper, and I discovered I, I don't like black pepper, but I love this four pepper blend, and I like it freshly cracked, the flavor again, you just can't even compare it. And it's nice because it's in the jar and you just give it a couple turns and there you go. So those are all my spices. I'm gonna set that aside while this is warming up. Put it to medium so it'll start cooking. And I guess I need a platter to put all this in. It's in the dishwasher. Nice. It is. Yay. Girls did their chores. So, fresh from the dishwasher. Set that aside. And we go and we'll just keep stirring. Give time for those flavors to get all in there. You see it's not sticking. Now I do, I don't let anything metal near this pan. Um, and my kids know, like, don't put the fork near the pan. I usually use a spatula. And I like this spatula because it's nice and wide. So it's really good for stirring. And it's really good for 
getting underneath and doing that, um, if you're folding something, even if it's not baking, you can, I like that fold because then everything gets mixed in really well, just like this. That's the technique. All right, well, we have two minutes and 36 seconds on our pasta. When the microwave beeps, I'll come back and we'll put it all together and that will be dinner in less than, I'm gonna say less than 12 minutes we're gonna have dinner ready. So, what a great day. Okay, here we are, 40 seconds left to go on the microwave. Our sauce is nice and bubbly. I've turned it down, right down to a medium low. So it's nice and hot, it's heated all the way through. You can see it's bubbling. I don't want it to splatter everywhere and make a mess. That defeats the purpose of being super quick in the kitchen when you make a big mess. Like I almost did just there. So I'm just keeping it moving to keep it from splattering. 10 seconds. Just wanna show you what that pasta is gonna look like when it beeps. Here we go, there's the beep. Here we are, microwave. I love having the microwave over the stove. It's the ultimate inconvenient. So, again, away from you, you want that steam to go away. And you can see, oh, about dumped the pasta water in there. They're fully cooked. I'm just gonna give them a drain in sink. Nice little shake, 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 shake. There we are. All right. So, there's our pasta into the bowl. Oh, let me go in there. That cooker's done, we're done with that. And sauce is done. Just pour it right over. Probably won't need all of that, so we'll save some of it. So again, one whole, one can of crushed tomatoes, some spices, a $6 thing of pasta, the fresh pasta I splurged for the good stuff. And go ahead and mix it in. So, yeah, there you go. And then I have some good Parmesan cheese. I just uh, buy the block and I'd already pre grated it. So I'm just going to about three to two, two tablespoons of good Parmesan cheese over the top. And there we go, dinner in less than 15 minutes. Healthy, good for you, fast, easy. What more can you ask for? Thanks, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments or you wanna visit me online, you can check out my blog and see the section below for all that information. Talk to you later, happy Friday.